Please welcome Bernard Mayerson, Chief Innovation Officer and VP at IBM Corporation. All right, so I want to take this up several levels because, you know, we've been talking about the impact of cyber, the impact of hacking, the impact, you know, financially, but getting underneath that, it's kind of interesting because what these people really are, are disruptors. Now, disruptors can be good news and bad news. What they're really attacking, however, if you think about it, is the entire fabric of modern society because we've become a digital society. The big capex wins, if you look at the valuations, frankly, looking out the door, have come through some remarkable disruptions. And the disruptions came out of innovation, which is, you know, it is the ultimate weapon. We are in an age of digital disruption. Anybody who doesn't believe that, I'll show you some numbers. And the question is, how do you protect it? Because by definition, nobody's coming and burning down your house. They're burning down your bits. And that's how they destroy your business. They come in many, 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 many shapes and sizes. Lord knows I'm the large version. Um, but they do actually, you know, you have to consider, just focus on one. Because you could run around in circles forever right now trying to give some overview of every possible thing that go wrong. So, let me just get to the point of, you know, the digital disruption. If you think about it from the point of view of how strange the world has become in this digital era, the world's largest taxi company, as you guys undoubtedly know, owns no vehicles. That's interesting. Uber. The biggest media company in the world is Facebook. Yeah, they don't generate any content. That's not their thing. In fact, some of the stuff they get out there is really interesting. We won't go down that rat hole either here. Um, See, so yeah, I can resist too. The most valuable retailer, now this is really interesting, the biggest, most valuable retailer in the world has no inventory. Alibaba. They just, shh, you know, send me an order and tell them to ship it to you. Largest real estate place out there in terms of providing accommodations, Airbnb. They don't own any real estate, except for their offices, and you can't sleep there. Um, the whole point is this world has moved onto a digital platform. It is not really being driven when you get to the valuations you're seeing. And the world will change. I don't care what industry it is. I don't care if it's banking. I don't care if it's insurance. It doesn't make any difference. So you have to look at this and say, well, what's the, what are the stakes here? <laughs> the actual scale is astounding. You know, Depending upon who you ask, right? There's an actual group called the American Academy, uh, well, sorry, the Academy of Certified Fraud Examiners. And they looked globally in 2014 just by you know, querying their members and saying, tell me how much damage was done in your geo. And they tried to get rid of overlap, so it's a tricky dribble. You know, I swear for this. But nonetheless, they estimate about $3.7 trillion of damage was done by people who basically committed inside Fraud, fraud inside an organization. But the interesting thing is they associate it with <coughs> fraud at that scale essentially requires you to corrupt the records, to get underneath it. Because otherwise, you can't be inside doing this long enough to you know, do that kind of damage. And it's no different, obviously, than somebody crawling into your network and stealing all your IP. I mean, regardless of how you achieve it, the valuations are phenomenal. So it does give you an enormous sense of urgency to prevent this. Okay, the only way you're going to do it, and it's been said well by every speaker, is we have to out-innovate the guys who are disrupting us. you just got to disrupt the disruptors, and it doesn't happen by sitting there and watching. People have talked about blockchain, but I'm trying to put a point on it in that this isn't about any one entity's version thereof. It's about debunking some myths because people look at, you know, um, Bitcoin and say, oh, blockchain doesn't work out oh, good. <clears throat> the fact of the matter is, what's kind of interesting about it and people don't always associate it. It is an append-only system, very, very important. In other words, it's just serial growth of a record. Why? Because if 85 people have it, you might be able to disrupt one or two of those records by some clever hack getting in there and altering the record. Good luck with the other 84. That's one. Two, you can handle cryptography so that everybody can have the same record, right? Except you only have the way of decrypting what you're entitled to see, so the record can be shared pervasively. All of the policies, right, have to be acknowledged by everybody. Every transaction is done, so you've got the synchronicity. One of the most important things, curiously, is you can also build in smart, essentially intelligence, smart contracts. 
that enable you to basically do very highly complex transactions at warp speed. And it has a couple of cute features. Now, this is, you know, it, you can get any level of depth you want. But the person who's interesting to me is the auditor, where that auditor is a compliance person. Why is this interesting? Because regulatory compliance, I actually looked it up, is $50 billion hit. Arguing in court. That's not what it costs. That's just what it costs to argue it in court between, I think, 2009 and 14. Huge, huge hit in industry. The reason it's so interesting is you can create absolute financial transparency using this. Because think about it. Not only are you keeping the bad guys from altering your records so that they hide some fraud they're perpetrating, but the regulator, you give them all the crypto keys. And they go, hmm, how do I go after you if I saw absolutely everything that happened? That makes it a little tricky. We actually did this with the Postal Savings Bank in China. And we had the regulators in the loop. We had about 15 banks that were doing large transactions. And it was fascinating because at the end of it, everybody was happy with the result. I mean, it, it is very, very secure. But the regulators were kind of stymied because, well, we saw absolutely everything. How can we go after anybody? It, it's a good thing. And it wasn't a nasty thing. You know, they're worried about money laundering and all the other elements. So it's not just about slowing down the guys who you know, will hack in and alter your records and ultimately cause a catastrophe for your business. It's really much, much broader than that. It shouldn't be narrowed down. The other thing is there are many mythologies about it. One, it has emerged. You know, I chair the Meta Council on Emerging Technologies. In 2015, the consensus was this would grow like wildfire, and you know, we're two years later. And it has actually grown like wildfire, as people have acknowledged already. There is no bulletproof way of protecting against these scams. I mean, we all know that we, whatever defenses we build, this was very well said. The bad guys are working just as hard, but you can make it miserable by reducing their return on investment. And again, that's the key. The fact of the matter is, though, what's happening here is remarkable because blockchain, just because it's emerged, now people are working on it. And I've seen some incredibly um, clever variants of it where you know, people say, ah, you can run 10, 100, 1,000 transactions a second, maybe, and maybe only have 40, 50 ledgers out there. It turns out that you can run, I've seen people figure out ways of using it really to ensure that you have accurate records and that they were traceable and reliable as far as the government concerned, 10, 20,000 transactions a second if you chose to do it. So this has really matured, and it's really now a major endeavor in this space for many reasons, not just preventing somebody getting in and taking out your records, but actually dealing with numerous other things, compliance and all the other elements that will make you crazy as a business. So in any case, it is there. Thank you.